You don't know Bad man Yeah, yeah, yeah This body, baby what's up everyone welcome back to the channel your girl wigs to wasteland here back with another quick wig review and today we are reviewing the new bob by sensationnel this is part of their cloud nine swiss lace wet lace wig collection i do have it in the style ldw004 or terina now i do have this unit in three colors the first color that i will be showing you is the money piece blonde and as you guys can see by my face this is one of them scary blondes y'all this is one of them blondes that yeah you, you just gotta jump in and try it <laughs> so um, this Money Piece Blonde is dark rooted throughout. does have a little bit of a yellow tone to it, but it does have like an ash white 613 hue to it. So I'm showing you guys the hairline on here. And oh, MG, best part about this bob is the hairline. This is with no plucking, no tweezing. This is straight out of the pack. You do get two combs in the front, one in the back with adjustable straps. Now, you guys will notice some things are a little off in this video. I'm not going to point them out. Do not come for me, please, sis. I am aware that they are there. <laughs> um, so, as usual with this wet lace collection, when it comes to a dark skin women, I am going to go in and tint the lace to my liking. So, I am using the Even New York Dark lace tint spray i do have this i believe in the color medium brown i'm also going to go in with my sponge and i just applied a little bit of my foundation along the hairline the lace took to my makeup really really good and as you guys can see it looks so much better so this color like i said you gotta just jump in and try it and i am so glad i tried this color because i think they did a wonderful job on the dark roots and how it gradually fades into that blonde now i will say i did think that this was more of just like a highlighted framing type of blonde i didn't realize that the whole unit was going to be this color and the parting space looks really good on miss tarina and as you guys can see you can see my lace cap Un unfortunately i could not find my black cap so i did have to use what i had on hand uh, so I do strongly suggest if you are going to use a cap, you definitely want to go with a darker color. If you are new to my channel, I do use eyebrow shapers or eyebrow razors, whatever you want to call them, to, to cut the lace off of my wigs. This does take some time. Do not get it twisted. You cannot rush this, as you guys will see in a minute. Um, the lace did come off really good, but unfortunately, I did rush that side by the door, girl. I did rush cutting that side off. So you do want to take your time when it comes to cutting the lace on these wigs. But look at this hairline, y'all. Once you figure out, you know, how you're going to tint the lace, it melts like but uh, I was really happy with the way the lace looks so far. For this first one, I decided to show you how it would look without being glued down. So I am going to apply just a little bit of got to be gel on the sides of my hairline just so i can swoop back my edges they were sticking out a bit now the cap size on this one was very exact <laughs> like i had little to no room for like wiggle room you know i didn't have that much um, room to play with so I had to do the best I could but you will notice that I do keep tugging on this unit now straight down the hairline looks bomb straight ahead we got problems <laughs> um, so you will have to take your time tint it get it to your liking um, with these frontal type of units especially this wet lace line this is not something you can rush in to the first time 
I've mentioned this before. I'm not really a fan of 13 by 6 frontals. They're more like, I don't know, they're more like closures to me because you really don't get too much parting space. I really like deep side parts and you're kind of limited when you have a 13 by 6 but we're gonna make it work do what it do um so I did decide to go for a deep side part with this unit you will see like I said my wig cap but we are gonna fix that for the baby hairs I'm just actually gonna push some of those hairs up front as you guys can see with the rat tail comb and I'm just using a little bit of got to be gel on the tip of the rat tail comb and then i'm pushing those baby hairs forward i did want this to look really subtle and natural you guys know i'm not really like a swoopity swoop and when i do they do struggle so i'm gonna keep this as natural po as possible for the hairline um my goal was basically just to cover up that line of demarcation and i think it actually came out really really good I used Yoded out of the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette to cover up that line that you see in the part, make it look a little bit more natural. And here is the finished look for the blonde baby. I did get some tangling with this blonde color. It's understandable with the process that takes place for this color. I did also get shedding. However, I do cut into the hairline. Um, I didn't really experience any other cons besides the texture. It was, it is much more on the silky side. Now, if you are not going to glue this unit down, you do want to keep in mind it's not going to be as what lace as you want it to be <laughs> um it came out okay there are some spots that you can kind of see but as long as someone's not all in your head you're good The next color that I'm showing is the Money Piece Caramel. Now for the sake of time I will be speeding up <laughs> this portion of the video. For this one, I did decide to go ahead and glue it down. I didn't go too drastic or too, you know, hardcore with the got to be gel. I applied just enough to get the lace to melt in. I did use just a little bit of the got to be spray to affix it to the hairline. And of course, I am going to apply some swoopity swoops along this hairline. I don't know how some people do it. Let me tell you, these. It, it comes with baby hairs but girl it it took me yeah it took me a cool minute to get these swoopity swoops to act right I did notice that this one had a little bit more flyaways than the blonde. So I'm going to go in with my wax stick. This was gifted to me by Wow African. You can pick these up in any beauty supply. Uh, if I find a good one or if you guys know a good one, definitely drop it in the comments down below. I was really feeling that money piece, piece blonde, but honestly, I think this is the best color out of all three. This chocolate brown with this face framing blonde is just so on point. Now, the blonde is underneath the chocolate brown. One thing that I did notice was in the front, the blonde color did have a very coarse almost rough feel to it on one side just in one small section that wasn't too big of a deal but sis this color is seriously like i think this is one of my favorite colors for a synthetic wig this year And last but certainly not least, 
I do have Miss Tarina in the color number two. And I decided to keep the swoopy swoops really nice, subtle, and simple. I went for like a total of maybe like three swoops in the front, and that was really it. Um, I did forget to mention that this unit does come with some very small, subtle baby hairs. Um, it can be a little hard to find them, but once you have your frontal in place, you know, you can pretty much fill them out. Now, would I buy this unit again? Probably not. <laughs> the one thing that held me back from really loving this unit was the texture. I do wish that this had more of like a yakky, just a little bit more of a coarse, natural texture, especially for African American or black women. It's just going to look a little bit more natural with texture that mimics our hair. All three units basically had the same cap construction. The fit was pretty snug. Like I mentioned, not a lot of room, not a lot of wiggle room for this unit. So if you got a bigger circumference head, girl, might be a problem. <laughs> um, but So she's a cute unit. It is retailing for $50, but... I'm not all the way sold and it's basically mostly the texture <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you are interested in checking out the information for Miss Tarina I'll have a direct link in the description box down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up of course if you are new to the channel subscribe ring that bell make sure you are all getting post notifications and as always ladies keep wearing it with confidence and i'll talk to you guys in the next one all right time for some shout outs thank you so much to all of you for tuning in and big thank you to the first comment on one of my videos last week thank you so much to jeremy thompson for your kind words shanice nicole tanisha robinson bj jackson magical blackness she has a channel here on youtube as well make sure you guys check her out leela ray tamira g Hearts and Cake 90, Makeup by Carrie, uh, all of you, thank you so much. And of course, Anytime Taste Pink gives me a compliment. <laughs> it definitely means the world to me. Sexy T. Jones, Diva D. Uh, Jones, Eloise Green, and Ned McDonald, thank you so much to all of you for tuning in. If you are interested in this review here, darling, then make sure you click the tab in the corner. I will have a direct link right about now to this video means so much to me that you guys are tuning in and as always i will talk to you guys in the next one